Hi, and thank you for joining us. I am Samir Shah, and with me today is Kyle Wasnick. Today we are going to look at the VCE Vision Intelligent Operations plugin for Enterprise Manager 12C. VCE Vision Intelligent Operations enables and simplifies converged operations. The software acts as a mediation layer between vBlock systems and data center management tools. It also supports API-enabled integration into other standard industry tools. It's through this API that the vBlock data is brought into Oracle Enterprise Manager 12C, where majority of Oracle applications are monitored and managed from thus enabling the monitoring of the entire vBlock system right from Enterprise Manager 12C. It also shows you how VCE plugin integrates with Blue Madura's plugin for VMware, as we will see in just a moment. I'll pass it over to Kyle now to walk us through the plugin. Kyle? Thanks, Samir. Let's jump into Enterprise Manager 12C now to see what these plugins look like. This is the VCE Vision Intelligent Operations plugin for Enterprise Manager 12C. Now this is the home page, and there's a lot more information than what's immediately visible. For example, you can expand the tree view on the left for compute, network, and storage, and then where there's additional layers, such as compute chassis, you can expand those as well. Now in the upper right corner of the main page, we have our compliance score. And if we click on it, we are brought to the compliance page. On this page, we can see information about compliance reports. We can see when the last report was run, what benchmark ID, title, profile D, and profile title was used. We can see historical information of how many of the rules passed or failed. We can see which rules were executed and which ones were executed uh, sorted by group. Now we can also kick off new compliance reports. Select a benchmark and a profile and then click run compliance report. We then verify that we wanted to run this and then we have the option to actually go and view it in the jobs page. In this case we're going to pass. To get back to the main vBlock page, we simply click on the top level node of the tree. In the center of the home page, we can see the compute, network, and storage sections as well. We can also see the items that are beneath them, such as storage arrays, switches, fabric interconnects, and we can also navigate to each of the layers simply by clicking on it. Here we just navigated to the storage layer and it would have brought us here if we would have clicked on the tree node for storage as well. Now we could click on the symmetrics array and it would actually bring us down to the storage array, but we're gonna just continue on to the networking. Here we can see all of the hardware associated with the networking in the vBlock. And again, we can simply click on each of the items in the table or use the tree view to dig down. Here we can see a Cisco switch and a fabric switch. Now let's jump up to compute. Here we can see all of the compute resources available in this given vBlock. We can see the fabric interconnects and the compute chassis visually represented on the page. Now again, we can either click on the items in this page or use the tree view in the left to drill down. Let's click on this compute chassis here. We can now see the I.O. modules in the compute servers at this level. And we can either expand the view on the left to drill down, or we can simply click on a compute server in the center of the page to drill down to it. Here we have a physical server. This is a server that is not virtualized, and we can tell because we have an enterprise manager host target and we have Oracle databases that we can see directly running on it. Now we link down to the database target directly so you can continue your normal workflow of diagnosing issues. Now back up at the vBlock 
If we want to, say, view another compute server, let's go to a virtualized one this time, we just use the tree view on the left. We can see that instead of a host target, it has an ESX host, which is a VMware host, and we can see a list of virtual machines on the right. If you have the plugin for VMware installed as well, you can click on the ESX host and be brought to the hypervisor page. Here you'll find performance graphs on hypervisor memory usage, hypervisor network usage, and hypervisor CPU usage, as well as information about the virtual machines running on the hypervisor. In this table, simply select a virtual machine and then click the button in the upper right corner that says View Selected VM. On this page, we can see the VMware hypervisor, which is part of the vBlock. Just inside that, we can see the virtual machine, and one box inside of that, on the lower right, we can see the database and disk. Just like in the VCE plugin, you can click on the database name, and you'll be brought to the database target within Enterprise Manager to continue troubleshooting. That brings us to the end of today's demo. If you have any questions, comments, or want to reach out to us on social media, please feel free to use the information below. Thank you.